김희철, 지우민, 키. Hey guys, this is Hoon from Korean Doves. We're going to start our individual videos based on our personal interest. Many subscribers told us about the story of an Indian princess being Korean ancestor. Actually, I've known this story a little, but this time I did some more research so that I can share it with you guys. Let's start. Do you know what's the most common Korean last name? It's Kim with 10 million people. Among them, 4.5 million people belong to Kimhae clan. Clans actually indicate a region in Korea where their ancestors originated. So Kimhae Kims are the largest clan in Korea and they trace their origin to King Suro who found Garak dynasty. And the queen of Garak dynasty was from India. So am I saying that the ancestor of 4.5 million Koreans was from India? Samguk Yusa is one of the oldest ancient historical accounts. Let's go to National Institute of Korean History website. I'll try to translate. In the year 45, Ho Hwang Ok from the country of Ayuta came with 20 other people by ship with red flags. She brought a lot of precious jewelries and clothes and actually it was her parents who sent her to Kaya after God told them to get her married, Kim Suro. Suro treated the guests very well, giving them individual rooms, and offering special drinks and having soldiers to protect them. That's how you treat your guests, right? After that, they married and they had 12 children. 10 of them was Kim and two of them were given Ho as a last name. So this is how Kims and Ho's in Korea became descendants of the couple. Celebrities with Kim and Kim includes Kim Hee-chol, Ji Min, Ki. Celebrities with Ho clans include Sulji, Ho Young-seng, Ho Young-ji. So where is this country of Ayuta that the princess came from? Many people believe it's in northern Indian city called Ayoda. And actually, many Korean people visit the city to trace their heritage. And last year, Korean first lady visited the home memorial to pay tribute. The city of Ayoda and Gimae city, where Garak dynasty was, became sister city in 2001. Other people believe she's from southern India and they say she was a Tamil princess from Kanya Kumari, a city once called Ayuta. Well, there is a debate on where she's from and how she got to Korea. There are so many research and documentaries that I can't even cover them all in this video. But I do believe she is from India. Then do Koreans actually know this these days? The answer is yes. Many people are well aware of it. We have K-drama called Kim Suro, which was about the story and you can watch it on YouTube. They hold festivals celebrating their marriage in Kim Hae City. They feature in children's book. Ho Hwang Ok's tomb is well preserved in Korea. Even yoga mat named after her is being sold. So Korea and India, we started our good relationship more than 2000 years ago. Maybe we're destined to be friends. But I want to talk about one more thing. I think this story is telling us Koreans that we have to be more open to different cultures. Actually, this story has been used by our government or anti-racism campaign recently. When I was very young, I was taught in school that we Korean people are mono-ethnic and that we have to be proud of it. Don't worry, nowadays this is not the case. I mean, no country is mono-ethnic. One of our first kings was open to foreign culture. But unfortunately, 2000 years passed and many people here still have false stereotypes, prejudices, and discrimination against foreigners based on cultural differences. Some of you might have felt that many Koreans have lack of knowledge about your country and that they are not even willing to learn. We want it to be a good example. That's why we named this channel Korean Dost. We want to show you that we are willing to learn and we want to show you how much we can get. To learn, we sometimes have to go out there. Sometimes you gotta sit down and study. But on our journey, if we make a mistake or in any ways offend your culture, custom please tell us and we'll try to fix it and i hope we can continue our friendship that's more than 2000 years old so this is the end of my video and thank you for watching thank you